When Darth Vader laid his trap for the Rebels on Bespin, hoping to lure Luke in, he was also reunited with C-3PO, the droid he had built in his youth as Anakin Skywalker. There were few relics of the past that reminded Vader of his life as Anakin, yet 3PO was one of them that remained. Fans have wondered if Vader had recognized the droid on Cloud City, and at least in the Legends continuity, there is an answer. In the comic series Star Wars Tales and the book The Rise and Fall of Darth Vader, it's revealed that Vader did recognize 3PO when he was presented with the droid's broken parts. As Vader and Boba Fett waited while the Imperials took their positions around Cloud City, they received word that one of the Rebels' droids had fallen behind and stumbled upon a Stormtrooper squad. The troopers had destroyed it, but luckily Leia, Han, and Chewie had not heard. Enraged, Vader commanded them to bring the droid to him at once, as its memory could contain valuable information. The lieutenant returned quickly with an open-topped container that held the captured droid's parts. The limbs had been torn from the torso and a tangle of multicolored wires stuck out from the droid's neck socket. Lieutenant Shekel stated that the damage was extensive and that the droid was probably made a long time ago as he held up 3PO's head for Vader to see. Vader took the droid's head and examined it closely. Despite the wear and tear to the head, Vader recognized a few small details that indicated Anakin Skywalker's handiwork. He gazed into the decapitated droid's blank photoreceptors. It was C-3PO. The last time Vader had seen the golden droid was on Mustafar, as he recalled how he had seen 3PO through the window of Padme's ship as it landed. Holding this relic of his former life, Vader felt waves of anger and loss sweep over his dark soul. His memory flashed to the day that Anakin had found the droid skeleton in Watto's junkyard, and Anakin had wondered if the repaired droid might help him and his mother leave Tatooine. Vader wondered whether C-3PO remembered anything of Anakin Skywalker. He doubted it. If the droid had had any knowledge of Anakin in his memory banks, then he would have shared it with Luke. But Vader was certain that Luke still remained ignorant of his father's true identity. As he looked into the droid's eyes, Vader thought that he should have left it in the scrapyard all those years ago. He had the sudden urge to crush the droid's head, but then realized that Lieutenant Shekel and Boba Fett were watching him closely. When Shekel inquired if he should have their technicians recover the droid's memory, Vader replied that the droid was useless and ordered them to destroy it. Returning 3PO's head to the container, Vader left the room, ordering Boba Fett to follow him as they prepared for their meeting with Lando Calrissian. The next day, after capturing the rebels and sensing that Luke was on his way to rescue them, Vader was informed that 3PO's parts had been found in Princess Leia's chambers. He was displeased that his order for the droid's destruction had not been fulfilled, and Lieutenant Shekel informed him that Chewbacca had retrieved the droid's parts, perhaps suggesting it was very important. Reaching into the storage bin, Vader picked up the droid's head again. Despite his desire to leave all of Anakin Skywalker's memories buried, another one surfaced, something Shmi Skywalker had told her son after she allowed him to keep the droid parts he had recovered. She told him that unless he was prepared to care for something, he didn't deserve to have it. Under his helmet, Vader winced at the memory. Watching Vader, Shekel asked again if the technicians should search the droid's memory, or if they should destroy it. Vader seemed to continue contemplating the droid's head, holding it closer to his helmet so he could see his dark, distorted reflection on the weathered gold surface of 3PO's lifeless face. He then slowly returned the head to the bin. Vader instructed Shekel to deliver the box to Chewbacca's cell. Shekel was very confused, and Vader mysteriously elaborated that he was giving the Wookiee what he deserved, before exiting the room to interrogate Han Solo. So, I love this story. I think that it is a great addition to the Legends continuity. I had heard about it before. I think I made a short using the comic book, and then I was going through some of the Legends YA books, like the Rise and Fall of Darth Vader that I used for the video, 
And that basically is like a biography of Vader's whole life using uh, the movies and different comics and stuff. So it actually retells the story from that comic, giving some more insight into Vader's thoughts in the book and everything. So I wanted to use that book mixed with the comic to make this long form video because I just think that this is a great connection between the original trilogy and the prequel trilogy and I think it's great when there's that supplementary material that connects the two trilogies that were made years apart out of order and it's just a great way to connect the whole saga and especially connect Anakin to Vader. That's something that I feel like is really important because it's easy to think of them as two different people. So I love any story that really just hammers home that Anakin and Vader are the same person. And it is one of those things where I feel like it did have to be addressed in a complimentary story because it's basically like a plot hole. There's a lot of stuff like that I feel like with R2 and 3PO being in the prequel trilogy so much is that it's like why didn't these other characters recognize them in the original trilogy? Like in the Clone Wars, Yoda and R2 go on a whole mission together when Yoda goes to Dagobah the first time and then he meets with the Force priestesses and stuff. R2's in his ship with him. And then they meet each other in the Empire Strikes Back on Dagobah and they don't say anything about it. But Vader seeing 3PO is addressed here. He did recognize him. He didn't really care. He wanted him destroyed. And then surprisingly, he showed some compassion or like he, he cared for 3PO a little bit. And then he, Vader is the one who actually instructed them to give 3PO's parts back to Chewbacca. Because I guess that is a weird detail in the Empire Strikes Back when Chewbacca's in his cell. He has 3PO's parts with him and he like puts his head back on backwards and is tinkering with him while he's a prisoner and it kind of is like why would they give him 3PO's parts it's because Vader commanded them to confusingly enough the Imperials were confused about it that fixes a this story fixes a couple plot holes honestly and I think it's a really interesting story so thank you guys for watching this video make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and may the force be with you